Hold up, before you spend money on new emotes, let me show you how to make emotes for free for your Twitch streams. If you just became Twitch affiliate or you're just looking to make new emotes for your streams, but you don't have the money to spend on new emotes because <laughs> they're expensive. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own emotes for free so that your viewers can use them in anybody's chat. So if you like the video, leave a like down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button. It shows me that you guys like these videos and you want me to make more of them for you. I also stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from noon to four central standard time. We start every stream off in just chatting. So if you have any more questions that I didn't answer in this video, hop on by the stream and let's talk about it. So tell me if this sounds like you. You just hit Twitch affiliate, you're super excited, and now you get to make your own emotes. So you go over to fiverr.com and you find the best artist that you can find or an artist that you can afford. You put in the order for your new emotes, they come in and voila, you've got emotes, but you paid a lot of money for them. And not everybody has money to shell out on emotes, especially at the start of your streaming career. So what can you do? Well, a lot of people sleep on this. And what's funny is I see a lot of big streamers and Twitch partners still do this. They don't even pay for emotes. They make their emotes for free and it's super easy. And I'm going to show you how to do it in this video, but essentially it's just taking photos of yourself, making different expressions and emotions and removing the background and then uploading it to Twitch so that your viewers can use them as emotes. You don't have to spend a hundred dollars or more on cartoon versions of yourself or cartoon emotes. I know a lot of people do that. I did it myself, but I think what makes a good emote is something that looks good first and foremost, but also can be used in a lot of different situations. So it doesn't really matter if you have a really stylized cartoon emote or just a picture of yourself, as long as people feel like I can use this in multiple situations in any stream and it's funny to use that's what makes a good emo so that's the method that we're going to do in this video today we're just going to take photos of ourselves with different expressions remove the background for free and then upload them to twitch so that your viewers can use them now a couple of things to remind you of emotes need to be 112 pixels by 112 pixels and it also has to be one megabyte or less in size so that you can upload to twitch so now what kind of emotes should you make well, what I would suggest you do is look at the emotes you like to use on Twitch and kind of get inspiration from that. Also, look at some of your favorite Twitch streamers and see what emotes they have. If you can't find any inspiration, that's totally okay. I would just try to stick to like the main expressions like hello, hype, some sort of affectionate or love emote, an angry emote, a sad emote, just emotes and emotions that can be used in many situations. As an affiliate, you get five emote slots for your tier one sub, one emote slot for your tier two, and one for tier three. I would try to put your best emotes in tier one, which is the most accessible subscription plan for your viewers so that they get the best emotes that you've made and the most use out of them. All right, so with that, what we're going to do is just make an emote and I'm gonna show you how to upload it to Twitch. So first, what you wanna do is have good lighting. You could just use the lighting that you have for your stream, but just make sure that it's bright and evenly lighting your face so that the background removal process is easier for the software. And then on your camera, just take a few photos of different expressions that you would want for your Twitch emote. So I'm just gonna make a high emote. All right, so we're gonna use that photo for our emote. I'm gonna show you how to remove the background for free and upload it to Twitch. All right, so as you can see right here, I've taken the photo from the video that we were filming. Pro tip, if you do have a green screen, I would suggest using it when you take photos so that it makes the software's job easier to remove the background and there's less stuff in the back for it to work with. But once you have your photo like this, just type in background remover into Google, then go to the website remove.bg. It should look like this. This is the website that I use to remove my backgrounds pretty quickly. It'll also allow you to edit and fine tune just in case the software doesn't get it perfectly. So click on the blue upload image, and then we can pick our image right here. And then you'll see the software did a pretty good job with removing the background. If you wanna go ahead and edit it even more, click on the edit button right there. You can click on the plus sign and the minus sign to zoom in and out. So I'm gonna zoom in and just take a look around the hair usually is where it messes up, but we can see that the body looks fine. 
But what we can go ahead and do is zoom in and then click on the erase and restore. And then we can select our brush size. So I'm gonna click on a pretty small brush size. All right, so once you make the edits and the fine adjustments to your photo, just click on the blue download button right here and then just download image. And then as you can see here, this is with the background and this is without the background. The software does a really good job, especially since it's free. Remember what I said that the photo needs to be 112 by 112 pixels to be uploaded to Twitch. So now what we're going to do in Windows within the Photos app, we're going to click on the three dots and then we're going to go over to resize. And then we're going to define our custom dimensions. And then here, we're going to type in our width and our height and save a resized copy. And then as you can see here, it kind of looks a little stretched out. So what I'm going to do is in the original one, I'm going to crop it. And then you can see I've resized it. Uh, after cropping it and zooming in a little bit, the dimensions look better than what it did previously when it looked a little stretched out like this. So just play around with it. So now we have our emote with the background removed, the dimensions that Twitch needs, and the proportions look correct within the emote. We're ready to upload now. So once you're ready, go over to your Twitch profile and go over to the top right, then go down to Creator Dashboard, and then go over to the left-hand side where it says Settings, and then Affiliate. After that, click on emotes, but it looks like emotes actually moved and they have their own page now. So just click on that link and then it'll bring you to the emotes page. But what you'll want to do is click on an empty slot. So I'll click on the 10,000 bits one right now. And then this is what it'll look like. So all you have to do is click and drag your emote into the slot. And then as you'll see, it uploads again, make sure it's under one megabyte of size. And then it gives you the previews of what it'll look like. What I would suggest is to try to keep your emotes simple so that if you have too much going on, it'll lose quality and you won't be able to see what the emote really is because since they're so small, try to keep it as simple as possible so that you get the most quality out of it. You're able to see easily what the emote is trying to convey. And then under here where it says enter emote name, just name it whatever you would want. So we can just type in hello, which will then make the emotes name Doro44 hello. And then once you have your name and the emote uploaded, all you have to do is click upload and then your emotes uploaded to your channel and then your viewers can use it. And guys, that's about it. It's that easy to make your own emotes for free to use on Twitch. You don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on new emotes. Now, if you want to, or that is more on brand for you, or you just have the money, yeah, go for it. But if you're looking to save money, especially on the emote side of things, which can get really expensive, especially if you want to add more and more, this is a great way to do it. So if you found the video helpful, leave a like down below and let me know in the comments, what's your favorite emote to use on Twitch? I have to know. But anyway, guys, stay safe and I'll see you at the next one.